There are three Visio tutorial videos and this is the third one. Let's look at Pivot Diagram. Pivot Diagram is a new diagram type which was introduced in Visio 2007. Pivot Diagrams are not the same as Pivot Tables in Excel. Major difference is that Pivot Diagram is the visual illustration of the information as opposed to Pivot Tables which are tabular clusters of numeric or textual information. They both are similar in that data is hierarchically structured, give user the ability to slice and dice, drill down and roll up the data. Visio Pivot Diagram is based on numeric data only and it is far more graphical in nature. It gives user a clear indication or demonstration of his or her information. In case user would like to analyze textual based data, he she can relink the data and apply the textual based information. Let's look at an example to better understand pivot diagram. Go to the file menu, click on new, under the home tab, click on business, which comes under template categories, and then click on pivot diagram. On the right hand side, go ahead and click on create. Another window will pop up. It's going to ask you what data do you want to use. We're going to use data from Excel workbook and I'm going to go ahead and select that Microsoft Excel workbook and then I'm going to click next. This window is going to allow me to browse to the file which I want to select so I can go ahead and click on browse and go to the location of the file and select the file from there. Or I can simply go ahead and click on this drop down and select the file from here which is what I'm going to do. Now click on next. It's simply going to ask me which worksheet I would like to use so I'm going to let it be sheet 1 because I know my sheet 1 contains the data that I would like to use in pivot diagram so I'm simply going to click on next. This particular window is going to allow you to select the columns or the fields and the rows which you would like to use. So for example if I click on select columns it's going to display all the columns or all the fields that exist in my Excel file and I want all of them to be displayed so I'm simply going to click OK. Similarly with select rows I can go ahead and select the rows which I want to use in this case I want to use all the rows so I'm simply going to go ahead and click OK and then I'm going to click next it's telling me that I have successfully imported the data so I'm simply going to click finish now we see only one node here let me just zoom in on that this is your top node and it consists of total number of employees that are there it consists of the title of the file and it consists of a legend which contains the name of the data source when was it last updated and if there are any filters or not in case you would not like to view these details let's say you don't want to view this or you want to change this title or you don't want to view this legend you can do that go to the pivot diagram tab which appears only after you have selected this template and under show hide there's something called title so if you uncheck that the title would disappear if you want to rename it you can do that by clicking here in the space and name it as you like so let me just name it as human sources and let's say you don't want to view the data legend so I'm just going to uncheck that breakdown shape is something I'm going to introduce you to in a while so let's say under this we want to be able to see region department so on your left hand side a screen has appeared this is the task pane from which you can select various options so once you have your top node selected which is this particular node go ahead and click on let's say region regions have appeared and you can see the word region has appeared here this is what you call breakdown shapes 
So if you do not want to view this, you can go to show hide and under that you can uncheck breakdown shapes. And once you do that, it will disappear from here. But for the time being, we are going to let it be visible. So I'm simply going to check that again. Now let's say under region, we want to be able to view departments. But we want the departments to appear in vertical alignment as opposed to horizontal. So we are going to go ahead and select this particular region, let's say east. And under layout, which is again under the pivot diagram tab, I'm going to select direction drop down and in that I'm going to select left to right so once I do that then I'm going to select department from left hand side and here departments have appeared vertically another way of approaching this is right clicking on the region and then going to add category and whatever category or whatever fields you want to add you can go ahead and click on that you can also collapse your categories from here so if I click on collapse departments are going to disappear I can do the same action by going to pivot diagram and under arrange I can click on collapse and it will collapse the categories so let me go ahead and right click and add category and department alright the departments have appeared you notice there's a page break here that's because the diagram did not fit into one page currently it's very annoying so I'm simply going to go to the view tab under show I'm simply going to uncheck page break just to get rid of it once this is done now I want to be able to add employees so again I'm going to go to admin and I'm going to click on first name so that I can add employees but it has appeared vertically so let me just go ahead and change the direction of that I'm going to select admin and then I'm going to go to layout under direction I'm going to click on top to bottom and here it has changed to that now let's say I want to be able to view salary of the employees so under add total I'm going to go ahead and click on salary you have various other options currently it is sum but if you want to view average min max you can do that as well by clicking on this drop down and you have various options here average min max count so on and so forth we also have the option of filtering and sorting so I'm simply going to select these employees and under pivot diagram there's something called sort and filter so let's say I click on sort and filter I want the names to appear in descending order so I'm simply going to check that option and I'm going to click OK and now it is in descending order let's say I want to filter so after selecting the breakdown shape I'm going to go to this icon called filter under sort and filter and pivot diagram tab a window will appear let's say I don't want to view allocs data so I'm simply going to select does not begin with and then I'm going to type in A and I'm going to click OK once that is done all the names which begin with A will disappear from this particular list now let's say I want to be able to add graphics to this so I'm going to go ahead and click on pivot diagram tab and under format I am going to click on apply shape once I do that I can select various shapes from the stencils available here so I can simply go ahead and select person from here and click OK so it'll appear and if we want it to appear for multiple shapes so we need to select those shapes and then go to apply shape and simply select the shape that we want and click OK and it's going to appear so similarly let's say we want to do it for departments so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to go to apply shape and let's say I'm going to select this I can call international division and I'm going to click OK so here 
shapes have appeared. Let's say you want to also be able to view the corresponding data to this. So go to the data tab and under show hide there's something called external data window. Go ahead and and here is your data. Let's say we also want to be able to set a particular time to refresh the data. We can do that by going to the pivot diagram tab and under data click on the refresh drop down and there's something called data options. Once you click on that another window would appear. If you go to the bottom there's something called refresh every minutes. And you can specify the number of minutes after which you would like to refresh the data. If we say 60 minutes so this is going to refresh the data after every 60 minutes. You can go ahead and change the theme of this diagram as well by let's say clicking on the top node and going to design tab and under themes you can just click on this drop down and change it to whatever color you want to change it to and here is your entire diagram is in green color right now hope this was useful this video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.